Hello people, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm so excited today. Today I have a pen from Hilo, A5, A56. It's such a bargain. I was paying something like $1.50 for the pen. It was so well made and then write so beautifully. So I can't help to share this with you. Ah, please don't do remember to uh, visit my uh, blog spot. I put the link down in the description and uh, in there I put I will put more phot photography and uh, the latest rumors from China pen industry so you will be the first to know all these rumors in your pen club well doesn't matter where where you are now and uh, that pen I First of all, let me give you a little bit history, probably you don't know. Because once upon a time, there was a pen company in northern China called Gold Star or Golden Star. But it go, ramp, go bankrupt, same as other, other pen companies. And the Jinghao acquired Gold Star. And start to reproduction a series of pens based on the old model of the Golden Star. One example is the 565. It's called Hilo 565 now. It's called Hilo 565. But the original model is Golden Gold, Golden Star 565. Hook nip. Ah, it's the, the barrel, the, the diameter, the diameter of the barrel is like 12, 12, 12 millimeter. That is in compare with the, a regular 11 something Parker 51. And uh, that is quite comfortable to handle. That is sick. And uh, there's a second model originally made by Gold Star, now made under Jing, made under the name of Hero, is this one. Eight five six. It it come with this little crystal coffin with a uh, ring in the middle so you insert pen in the you insert pen in the middle and stick in the box so that makes sure when you receive your pen there is a they try to control the scratch scratch on your new pen you see even it's a one dollar fifty cents pen they are still it's nice to see them still were trying to improve the quality And uh, the the little the little crystal coffin, the little crystal coffin. It's mm, I would say it's not as good as the Jinghao. It's not as good as the Jinghao Da Dao nineteen 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 nine zero one nine. That case is that. The wall of that, that of their case is thick, but this case is not as thick as this. But think of the price, it's one dollar fifty. It's okay, the case do it does its job and you're not going to you're not going to pass down the case to your grand rancher. So the the case does its job to protect this pen from scratch. And when I receive the pen, the pen is in it's unlike other hero. I mean hero it it used to be horrible. Be honest with you, it used to be horrible. It's my least favorite pen, but until this pen, it comes in such a neat, mint condition. Of course, it's a new. Of course, it's mint, but it didn't have any scratch at all. So let me let me unscrew it. Then you will see this magic. That that's the trick. Or that that's the beauty of this pen. It's this transparent middle section barrel. And it could act like as an ink window. Let me un let me unscrew from, uh, from the top. That's a regular certified number six nib, still in M. It doesn't bounce. Bounce a little bit, but you won't push that hard when you're writing, would you? And the feet is a regular plastic feet. It's water. That's water, cause I was just in testing the ink capacity. Ink capacity. I will cover that topic later. F Phenyl? I don't know. That's a letter. It. Okay. 
let's unscrew the pin, unscrew the bellow. When, when you will ink this pen, yeah, you hold the middle section, you unscrew the later section, it can't unscrew. And that is like the, in there, there's a tube. In the tube, when you, if you need to refill your pen, dip the ink level, submit the, the, the whole nib, the ink in, the ink refill position is down the section. It's down in the section. So you have to submerge the whole nib into the ink. You squeeze you squeeze that for five times and this pen is full filled. And if you carry on unscrewing, the middle section come off. This design, this design is quite unique in Jin, is unique in Hero, cause for the for its original design, the Golden Star version, yeah, this bit was also in black, not in transparent color. So there's a no ink window, no such nice function. It's quite clever for Hero to come up with this function, and this tube, I tell you, it holds unbel unbelievable. 2 milliliter ink in there. 5 to 6 squeeze, you get 2 milliliter ink in there. In comparison, the Mont Blanc 146, the Mont Blanc 146, it holds only 1.6 something, 1.6 milliliter, milliliter. Nevertheless, to say, the Japanese, imagine how much ink the Japanese hold. This seller only holds 0 0.5 millimeter of ink. I mean, Japanese is so rubbish in terms of ink capacity. What can you do with 0 0.5 milliliter of ink? Everything of Japan is so tiny. Oh, children, switch channel. Back to the hero. Back to the hero. I, I still can't, haven't, can't remember the name of this pen yet. So that was basically all. The tube was glued down. Ah, here was something I want to show you. It grew down, it's not that even, but I believe it's okay for a $1.50 cent, 50 cent pen. You see, it's not that even, but it's okay. It does the job. It does the job. And that pen is so light. Without ink, that pen weighs only 9 gram. 9 gram plus 2 milli ink, you're talking about 11... You're talking about 11, 11 gram in total. 11 gram in total and kept. This thing here, 11 gram. So comfortable. Ah, the second... The second thing I like this pen is because it's it's the milk bottle grip. The diameter here, it's 9.3 milliliter. It's so comfortable. I mean, we we were also we were so always so confused. No, 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 not confused. If we're talking about a pen, we're talking about a pen with thick barrel. The thicker, the better. No, that is not. Let me see. Let me put on some example. That's the one for. That's the one for six. That's the Jinghao Da Dao. That's the Jinghao Da Dao. Nineteen eleven. Nineteen nineteen. Come on, look at it. Look at it. That is thirteen. The minimum. The minimum, the measure from here, it's 13 to 15. And that's the 146. That's 10.7 here, almost 11. That's 11.4. And for this pen, for this hero, it's 9.3 down here. This is unethical. 
This is probably the max you could hold for ordinary human hand. This is just the perfect writing instrument size. So you don't need to that thick. And I so like I like the. It's so comfortable and give you such a great movement when you would do the writing. And uh, for the thick pen, oh my God, what am I doing here? Is it a pen or a rod? Look at here. It's just so normal. It's just so human friendly. The ne the milk neck bottle. Mil no, the milk bottle neck. Milk bottle neck. It's so human friendly. So that's the second feature I like. The first feature huge ink capacity ink capacity of two millimeter then the milk bottle section and the the, the third thing I like it most it's one point one one dollar fifty cents is there any other country can make pen at this quality at this price no the Japanese just rip, rip it off with this. How much? I forgot how much I paid for this. That, that was like 130, 130, 150, 150 probably. 150 dollar for a pen like this. Well, it is a better material, better finishing. But with a useless rubbish 0 0.5 millimeter ink capacity, what can you do with this pen? Nothing. It's a nice piece of well-made crap. And that is practical with 2 milliliter ink. And with a steel nib, and with a steel nib, that will do the job. Look at it, I just write beautifully. Okay, I believe that's all I need to talk about for this magic. It's a gift from the above. But I mean, I suspect that Jing Hao probably, no, 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 not Jing Hao, the entire Chinese pen industry, they will increase price sooner or later. I mean, for $1.50 to get a pen like this, it's a crime not to get it. And sooner or later, also, also the manufacturing cost in China is. It's building up. I don't understand how come Jing how 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 come how come how come the pen companies, China pen companies like Jing Hao and Hilo come up with such beautiful pen with such under such low price. And eventually the price will go up. So grab yours before it goes up. It, it can't be anything else. That is the Jing Hao fifty one. I also got it this pen yesterday, and that is. Beautiful 51A. That pen also like one dollar fifty something. That pen is beautiful. Aquaric Aquaric barrel. That is the ah Jing Hao told me that is the new design that that they have improved the, some manufacturing detail. So so now when you unscrew it unscrew it, yeah, you won't see any scratch from the material because previously they had a video of from Doodle Book and that was like four years ago when he unscrewed the barrel there's so much material left on the screw now now there there's nothing so i put on a, a little bit silicon silicon gel not silicon grease on it to make it even better and uh, i'm i'm also very pleased with this pen jing hao 51a Okay, back to the hero. I believe I have said everything I need to talk about on this on this heavenly beautiful bargain piece. I mean it's pens of people. I mean you get a pen, it should be too much money, it should be become a burden of your life, yeah? You just have a pen and it can write. It's twenty twenty four, it's not 2024 humans technology have been involved have been accumulated for so long and it's not 18 
1890 something like that when Waterman was building a pen and that's supposed to be expensive and both expensive and uh, cost half of half of your and clear your bank accounts immediately no it's not the case and uh, also I don't understand why the other since the Chinese can make a pen write so good build so build okay it's not yet built to a level of luxury goods, but it built up to the quality of a proper writing instrument. One f for one dollar fifty, and the Japanese, for some reason, they are chasing after the German leader, and they are pretend they are paying to be kinds of luxury. But in my opinion, they they just rubbish. And the Mont Blanc, nevertheless, to say. It was said to be the best pen of this era, of this er era, yeah, of this time, and uh, yeah, it is, in terms of quality, it is the best. But how much? But you have to put in the price. Let's get rid of this Japanese crap. But in terms of the price, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Go get one if you can afford one. Because you deserve one. You have to buy a Mont Blanc. Otherwise, your life is not... It, your life will be incomplete. Would you? Okay, I believe that's all I would like to talk about. If you want to see more photography of, of the pen and uh, the latest rumors from the China pen industry, go visit my blog spot. I put a, I put a link down the description. Okay. Like the video and uh, I see you later. Bye.